Hey YouTube, Ben Ochart here. Hope you can hear me with the fountain in the background. I'm here in paradise. At any rate, how much do fish grow in one year? Which ones color up, which ones don't? Let's take a look, let's talk about it. Be sure to comment below. There certainly are a lot of fish out there that'll give you the reward of color uh, very early on, like this flubescent, like this deep water hap, and certainly like a fish that you know I'm a little obsessed with, the Plastochromus uh, red cap. Here he is about, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago, and um, here, here he is now. You can see just the beautiful coloration that he's taking on, and he's still, uh, still a very young, what I'd cons consider a juvie, and showing uh, just beautiful colors and markings. But what I'm looking for here is color and size. Here's an autopharynx tetrastigma, which you can see after about a year, went from a very drab gray fish to a spectacular fish. But not that much size. Tremendous color, but that much size. The Aristochromus christii, the Malawi hawk, certainly has promise, but is very slow to grow. The uh, Plastidochromus Johnstonii will give you some beautiful colors, but will not give you a tremendous amount of size. Unlike the hawk, which can get pretty large, but it takes a long time to get there. Johnstonia will top out at about maybe seven inches or so, max. So very similar in size to the tetrastigma. Some fish that will give you some good size, but might take a little longer to color up, are like the Bucochromus notatania. This is a picture that was taken roughly about a year after picking the fish up as a juvie. You can see it colored up very nicely. Whereas the sand diver can go for a very, very long period. Here's uh, almost a year later, and you can see still very gray, not showing a lot of color, might still be a male. But let's talk about the Nimbochromus polystigma. Here's a fish that as a juvie, you're gonna get some great markings so actually a very pretty fish at a very, very young and small uh, age and small size. This fish will get to about a foot. We'll need a very large tank eventually. This is a video from approximately a year ago. And you can see very active, very much holding his own and already showing um, very nice markings and the promise of being a uh, very beautiful fish. And he didn't disappoint. He was being picked on at that point by the living stone eye, and, uh, which he overcame several months later and was no longer pushed around by that fish at all. But uh, this fish, over time, roughly about a year, and you'll see here in the photos, will put on size, width, weight, and color. And as you can see here, a year later, he's pushing six inches and uh, showing tremendous color throughout the body. This is uh, when he was pretty fired up. He was pretty blue and green throughout. A little um, auburn or brown tinge on the anal fin. Just a beautiful fish. And he got colored down a bit when the Venusus took over. He got his markings back, so I thank the Venusus for that. <laughs> the Venusus did take over the tank and is now uh, the dominant fish. And if you look back at that Venusus, again, let's go back a year. Here's a fish that's about maybe two to three inches. I picked up three of them for $10 at a local fish store. Very small fish and um, very aggressive fish. Again, a fish that can exceed 10 inches, becomes very thick, very active, and needs to be in a tank with fish that are gonna be similar uh, in size and temperament. So you have to be careful who you match him up with because he, uh, and from fish to fish, you will get different temperaments. Here he is now, and again, he's pushing uh, probably close to six inches as well. Nice two-tone in the anal fin, beautiful fringe on the, on the dorsal, on the tail, nice blue in the face, great blaze down the forehead, blue in the lips and cheeks, beautiful fish. And, um, when he gets, uh, when he loses those markings 
and becomes more of a solid color, that's when you have to watch out because you can get pretty fired up and pretty aggressive. But uh, after he took over the tank, he became uh, mellow and got his markings back. But I want to talk to you about my favorite fish. And let's look back at a video again from a year ago and where it, the fish featured was the Fusco. And um, again, we're looking at a Nimbochromus fish that can put on a tremendous amount of size. And, uh, and in my opinion, some of the best colors among the Nimbochromus. And here you see him as a juvie in the Juvie Hap Nation 60-gallon tank. I picked him up from uh, Tampa Bay Cichlids. They had sold me a Fusco before that turned out to be spectacular, so I thought I'd take another chance, and they didn't disappoint. They sent me this guy, and uh, right off the bat, I could tell by some of the uh, some of the markings and uh, and uh, you know you can see some of the spots in the anal fin, some of the markings in the dorsal and in the tail. You can see the promise of color and of a uh, of just a beautiful pattern. So. I knew I had a, a good one, and he began actually coloring up relatively young. As far as, uh, as, far as uh, Nimbochromus go, they start to put on color relatively young, and uh, he holds his own. Even though he does get uh, bullied from time to time and has a few, uh, a few battle scars to, uh, to show for it, he doesn't back down. He's always active. He doesn't curl up in the corner and hide. And uh, all in all, the Fusco is my favorite of the Nimbochromus when it comes to putting on both size and color in a relatively short period of time. As you'll see in the, uh, in the photos I'm going to show you here that will um, show you what he looks like now. You can see here a one year later photograph top and bottom, and uh, here's more close-up. You can see the green in the lips, the blue and green in the face, a little bit of brown and red in the cheeks, and here he is in the tank. As you can see, again, he's pushing probably just under six inches. It uh, doesn't have the width of the um, polystigma or the venusus, which is why, of course, they're, they're a bit dominant over him, but that can change. Fusco's can put on a lot of size. Before you run out and get one, you're going to need a 100-gallon tank at least. And, and you'll have to be very selective with tank mates. But this is my favorite fish when it comes to putting on both size and color, the Fusco. So there you have it. Be sure to uh, post your comments below. Rate, share, all that good stuff. And I'm going to get back to paradise. Thanks for tuning in.